so what was that question about the future the future what is the future um, okay yeah I, I I always envisage this as a um, as a piece of public art essentially with a secondary role as a as an object which generates useful power that can be tied into the grid um, and of course given what I said about about this this research current research and all this kind of stuff and stuff that me and Dan are thinking of doing for the future um, in terms of in terms of coming up with different algorithms for 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 styles of leaf um, styles of branching etc and and sort of doing some 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 uh, data you know data collection around that um, it could be uh, a highly practical thing also as well as public art but yeah for sure I've, al I've always envisaged it as being primarily a, an art educational kind of um, yeah public relations thing for PV in a way uh, what else where can you see them where could you see oh ok yeah yeah thing? sure can you see it, like, so like so in in um mm. I mean, there, there are many environments in which, in which uh, a sort of conventional PV uh, arrays can can be extremely sort of ugly and rather rather an eyesore. Whereas, whereas this, whereas a, uh, something like this on what a, wha whatever scale actually, whether it's a whether it's sixty feet tall or or fifteen feet tall, um, can function. As an aesthetic, as well as uh, as well as functional thing, and also, of course, l trees provide a, a, a very pleasant kind of shade from from sun, and these are, these will produce a similar kind of um, uh, dappled sort of shading, um, uh, you know, under which you can be. Uh, so that would they'd be really good for sort of uh, city centre environments from that point of view. Anything else? So I guess that's yeah. Uh, 